Welcome to CCS Quick Tips. For this quick tip, I'll show a demonstration on how to get started quickly with CCS and the CC2650 development kit using one of the demo examples that comes with the Bluetooth Low Energy Software Stack, or the BLE Stack as it is also known as. The first thing I'll do is install CCS. I'll start this by running the CCS installer executable that I downloaded from the CCS download wiki site. Some prompts will appear, recommending that any antivirus software and firewalls be temporarily disabled while installing CCS. Whether this is really needed depends on the security software being used, as some are more aggressive than others. I normally leave it alone, unless I run into an actual issue during the installation. I have the default Microsoft security software running on this PC, and they are not known to cause any issues, so I'm just going to leave them running and continue. Next, I'll carefully read the license agreement hit the checkbox to agree to it and move on. Next, I'll change the default installation location to something different. I'll install just the components I need for SimpleLink wireless MCUs. This will install the components needed for all SimpleLink devices. If you will only use the CC2650, you can disable the components for the other devices, but I'll just leave them alone however. Note that the GCC ARM compiler is not enabled by default. If you want to use the GCC ARM compiler, you can enable it here so that it is installed. Next up, I can choose which debug probe that I would like to install support for. Some are required and enabled by default. The others, like support for other third-party debug probes, are optional. To use the integrated XDS100 debug probe on the, on the CC2650DK, I don't need to enable anything more. Next, I can decide if I wish to install any additional add-ons now. This can also be done later, so I'll skip this and hit finish to kick off the installation. The installation will take a bit of time, so let's step away for a bit and come back when it is all done. And we're back, and the installation has finished. I'll leave the default option to generate a desktop shortcut. Next. I'll run the installer for the BLE stack, which I downloaded from ti.com. Running this installer will install not just the BLE stack, but other required components such as TIRTOS. Another license agreement. I'll just install this in the default location. Another license agreement. Hit 
and that's done and the installation and all necessary components have been completed now I'll launch CCS using the desktop shortcut as it's launching I'll be prompted for the workspace folder location which I just use the default CCS will appear with the Getting Started page open. CCS also will detect some new products to associate with CCS. Those products are some of the components that were installed with the BLE stack installation. So I'll just leave all of those checked and hit finish. Now we need to restart CCS for the changes to take effect. Once CCS is back up, I'll open the Resource Explorer to browse the BLE stack package. From here, I can browse to the simple BLE peripheral stack example. Selecting the project will allow me to use the tutorial steps to help me import, build, and debug the stack project. Step 1 would be to import the example project into CCS. You can see that the project has been imported and a green check mark indicates a success of a step. The second step would be to build this imported project. As you can see, the project is building. And this may take a little bit of time. This has been successfully completed, and we see we got the check mark for step two. For step three, you can see that it's already been completed for us. So that leads to the last step which is to debug the imported project. Note that the CC2650DK needs to be connected to the host machine using the provided USB cable and powered on before this next step is executed. This last step will launch the debugger, connect CCS to the CC2650DK, load the stack program, and run the target. Since all I wanted was for the stack to get programmed to a target, I can halt and terminate the debug session. Next, I'll go back to the Resource Explorer and browse to the simple BLE peripheral example. I'll do the same actions as I did with the stack project to build, load, and debug it.
This last step will launch the debugger, connect CCS to the CC2650DK, load the program, and run to main. I'll press the resume button to execute the program and the message should appear on the LCD of the target confirming that the program is running. This is the end of the demo. I hope you found this quick tip useful. Thanks for watching.